Hi guys, today we're going to look at some financial calculations uh, going on in uh, QuantLab and we're going to focus on the currency basis spread uh, and why um, that appears. Uh, if we uh, take a simple one month FX forward, say we want to buy $1 million in one month time and uh, we want to fix that at 8.8 .8, kroner per dollars today then we know that we will have two cash flows in the future we will have the 8.8 .8 million kroner and we will have 1 million dollars that we exchange hands so what is the present value of that deal today so if we look at uh, this from a theoretical point of view we could just as well discount um, both legs using at the SIG depot rate and the US depot rate and think that we will end up with correct valuation. Unfortunately, that is not true. And, and this is due to the fact that the FX market and the interest rate market is not perfectly aligned. There are um, uh, uh, purchasing power uh, displacements, uh, displacements in, in the different markets. So, uh, and we will see how to get to that. Uh, so I've made an example. Uh, say uh, today is the 12th of October. Then the settlement of this uh, FX4 will be in two days. And then the maturity of the uh, FX4 will be in, in um, 30 days time adjusted for the holiday or for the weekend. So we'll have a 33 day period in this in this fx and uh, if we use single peer single simple rates we will get uh, forward rates uh, and this counting using just one plus the rate uh, uh, times days divided by 360 which is a money market convention so if we make the uh, mental exercise that if we uh, compare to having uh, the dollar today, exchange it uh, with the spot rate today, and then forwarding this uh, amount for 33 days using the SIEC uh, cash account. Uh, that should equate to the same as having uh, keeping the dollar in the account and then forwarding using the, uh, the US deposit rate and then exchanging forward uh, at the 8.8 .8 kroner per per dollar um, that's set today. Uh, and we can re rearrange those terms and then we can see if we say that uh, the US dollar rate is given, then we can see what this equation would say about uh, which deposit need to be uh, found for the for the SIEC uh, in order to make this uh, equation true. So we, uh, we will then uh, rearrange the terms and and uh, get uh, the uh, the rate in in SIEC, uh, uh, in in year terms. So uh, let's uh, move over to uh, um, we'll move over to the Quant Lab, and we can uh, see that we have done the calculation here. So we have just uh, the rates from the market in. We will use mid-market now uh, for simplicity. So we will have the spot rate. We will have the one month forward rate, which is quoted. Uh, we will have the deposit in, in SIEC and the deposit in, in dollars. And we can see that we've calculated this to be 33 days. So let's start uh, calculating then. So we have the forward amounts in each currency. And then uh, we will do the calculation in, in CX. So we will uh, first discount the US dollars to today and we will have the US dollars discounted exchanged at the spot rate. And then uh, we will have the CX amount discounted with the CX rate. So naively then we would end up having a present value of 16,000 a kroner for this position. If we look at this the other way, uh, if we just compare the two FX forward rates, the FX forward rate that we did the, the deal on, 8.8, .8, and the current forward rate, which is 8.81 8 
five, roughly, and then um, multiply that by the size of the dollar position and then discount that forward value to today, um, then we would end up with 15,000. Uh, and you can see that there's a difference of these two. And this is the valuation difference that arises from um, that the FX market is not aligned with the, with the deposit rates that we're using and seeing on the screen. So another way of doing this is, is then backing out, like we said before, the, the CIC implied deposit rate that would make this equation go um, uh, together. So that would mean that we would need, instead of having a minus 0.002% percent uh, rate we would need a uh, minus 0.23 and in effect this is a on a year basis a 14 basis point spread um, on the SEAC and this spread is the currency basis spread that we're talking about and we can compare that to the one year currency basis that is quoted in the market uh, which is a swap so it's not I identical but you, we can see that it's quoted at minus 12 basis points and our calculated um, implied SEAC rate versus domestic is minus 14. It's quite sensitive to uh, the FX forward when we have short maturities. So we would have take a six month uh, deposit, it will be 22 basis points. And if we would take a nine month deposit, uh, it will be, um, 23 basis points and this varies throughout the day depending on where we're at with the FX markets It's quite volatile. So so um, uh, It's difficult to draw any conclusions from this but the the point being is if you uh, do not uh, either discount with the SEAC rate that's adjusted with the currency basis spread or if uh, Then you're not getting your valuation of your FX forward correct and uh, that was uh, sort of the take of the day. Uh, thank you very much for listening.